Well, hello and welcome to the Old Classic Car Channel and today's brochure review is for the Austin A35 delivery van, the 500 weight quarter ton van of uh, 1956 to 1968. Uh, this particular brochure is only a two pager so there's not a great deal to work through here um, but I just thought I'd do a quick summary in the history of the A35 van. Now previously there was the A30 van and the A35 version replaced the A30 in October of 1956 and throughout the production of the A35 van there were three main versions, well actually four but officially there were three versions of the A35 van. Now this brochure isn't dated but from the details that I can see on this colour illustration on the cover I can see that this is the first series, the AV5 as they were called uh, they were available with high and low compression engines, 948cc A series and the thing that differentiates the AV5, the first series A35 van from later versions is the presence still of pop-up traffic aiders, semaphore indicators in the B pillar and they will be replaced later on with flashing indicators here um, but the first A35 vans had still had the pop-up trafficator indicators and the centre of the grille whereas it was cream on later vans on the first ones it was body colour and the wheels were painted black uh, the early ones also had these inset panels or recesses if you like in the front doors just to give them some extra stiffness uh, these were a very popular vehicle the RAC ran a huge fleet of these and they'd regularly cover 25,000 miles a year uh, now while the A35 car ended production in 1959 the A35 van actually continued until 1968 being sold alongside the Austin A40 the Farina which had replaced the A35 car um, now this wasn't unusual for BMC they did the same thing with the A40 vans they continued in production long after the A40 Devon had gone out of production and it was the same with the A35 van rather than make an A40 van they just continued with the A35 it was a lot easier so like I say this particular brochure is for the circa 1956 onwards AV5 version and it was issued by an automobile engineers in North Street in Duns in Berwickshire uh, Duns being the, the hometown of uh, Jim Clark, the racing driver. If I... So let's have a quick look inside this brochure and just see what there is. There's not a great deal of detail, if I'm honest, but on this page we've got a nice colour illustration of a red example. And again, you can see the AV5's pop-up traffic heater indicators, the recesses in the doors, the black wheels and the painted body colour grille. Uh, in 1962, the Mark II A35 van came along, that was the AV6. Uh, the doors were smoothed out, making them a bit more like how the cars were. Flashing indicators replaced the semaphore trafficators, and uh, these were painted white, the grille and the wheels were both painted white. But the AV6 was only actually made for about six months. And then the AV8 came along, or the A-AV8, the Mark III version of the A35 van was introduced. Uh, that was rated at 600 weight um, and it came along in October of 1962. That version had the 1098cc engine and SU carburetor and the base price was £388. Uh, it was a fairly rudimentary basic vehicle, the only options were a passenger seat or a heater. And the AV8 continued in production until 1968, the Mark III version. But of the Mark III version there were actually two different types that you could order. Uh, initially it came up with a 1098cc A-series engine um, but from October 1963 you got the option of an 848cc engine which was actually smaller than the very first A35 vans uh, these were, I think, with the idea was to have an economical van but they were a bit on the gutless side so I don't know how popular they were the 1098cc version continued until May 1966 and the 848cc version the last type if you like actually continued until February 1968 um, just about continuing production just until after the Mark 2A40 uh, stopped being produced so there were three marks of A35 van and four versions in all if you like and over here I can say this is for the early version 500 weight AV5 and we've got a, a yellow example here and you can see the little air vent let into the roof, that was a, 
a feature of the A35 and the A30 van before it. Uh, these were also used on the Works Austin Healy's. Uh, but yeah, they're a very compact little van, very sought after today. Vans usually lead a very hard life, so don't survive in very large numbers at all. Uh, like I say, this particular brochure was issued by a BMC garage up in Scotland, and I wonder if it actually led to a sale. And on the rear page, we have the van specification. Uh, I'll just have a quick zoom in on that so you can have a proper read of it. Uh, obviously it's an inline four cylinder engine, a good old A series BMC engine, uh, 948cc at this particular time. Uh, all the dimensions are here, so uh, if you're thinking about getting a classic van, maybe some of these uh, specification details and dimensions will come in handy. So I hope this quick little brochure review was of interest. Uh, if you've got an A35 van, it'd be great to hear about it. Did you have to restore it or was it already in good condition? Or is it still very much a, a work in progress vehicle? Uh, they, like all cars of the era, they do tend to rot away. The sills go in the wings, arches around the rear, spring hangers and so on. But uh, whereas a car might be rendered beyond economical restoration, a van in similar condition is probably worth still restoring because they're getting so hard to find in decent condition. So anyway, I hope that was of interest. Uh, please like the video and subscribe to the channel if uh, classic cars are your thing. And uh, hopefully I'll have some more videos up very soon. So thanks for watching.